Guy said he's tired, that means he has to do the intro. Do it. Welcome to episode 207, I think, right? We're yep. back. Your usual hosts. Thank you. Maybe you are new to the podcast since you must have tuned into our gang banger of the last episode that got a lot of views. So welcome. I'm your host, Kaya. Along with me today are, as always, Jackson, Andrew, and Hi. Charlie. Jackson likes to toss out the topics every week. Ten at the ten of them at a time. So there you go, Jackson. Yeah, go. Yeah, and I, I'm ready. I'm ready. You, you basically gave it away, though. Last week was our most viewed episode of all time. Somehow, somehow, oh, it really must. It's not like well, surprising. Uh, yeah, okay, obviously. Well, it is surprising to me. I thought PewDiePie would never be uh, dethroned so as our lied. most popular. What? You just lied, lied to all what? of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, it, I've it's not the, the most viewed. No, it is it. The the Belle Delphine episode is the most viewed episode of the podcast. Oh, okay. Yeah. I went through and had a look. It is the most viewed podcast episode that we have, and she did. She managed to do that in the, like a single day, which is fucking incredible. The PewDiePie episode has been up for three years, and she she. Did, well, why have we had women on this podcast before? Well, okay. <laughs> I think I think Jackson. One big contributing factor mm -hmm. is we're locked in Mortal Kombat between her and I for the sex toy world record, which is a big deal. It's been a don't very, try to. Like, it's been a coveted in. record. It's, it's been coveted. You didn't have any. You didn't have any part of that. that no, that was all <laughs> it's, it's we we've, we've yeah. reached the Super Bowl yeah, of sex toy collecting. Sit down. Sit down. No, no one even knew it was or a cared. It was a team effort, is what it was. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. To, sure. It was like a pre-fight conference where they tuned in to see like Floyd Mayweather like uh, give insults to McGregor. That's what they tuned in for for Bell versus Charlie. That's what it was. So they. No, no. So yeah. You're like that. Uh, you're like the army of cops that show up at the end of the movie when the good guys have already beaten the bad guys, and they're like, "Oh, you're just in time. Oh, wonderful." To solve it, no, I, I think it was all her. Well, I, I think I think it was a group effort. <laughs> that's that's I think just it was I mostly think. Andrew. Oh, thank you. I did see Aww. a lot of comments for last week's episode saying Andrew was consistently cracking them up. So I just Andrew, I try my best. You. Thank you. That's so nice. Here, I'll but yeah, I, I'm just, I'm just honestly just surprised that that beat PewDiePie. Uh, there must be was a the lot reception more. Good? Yeah, there must be a lot more interest, I suppose. I think in, it's because uh, she's the porn. Cor the cur I think part of it's also she's yeah. the current hotness. Like PewDiePie's definitely super big, but he's been big and well known for a long time. Whereas Belle Delphine's a much more recent name. Really, she's been around for a yeah, few she's, years. She's been a she? bit. She's been around for a bit, like I think a year and a half. Yeah. Yeah, but Some, she's she's, like, she's still her. riding. She's still riding like. Her, her high, you know, PewDiePie is definitely still popular, but is he really exploding the same way he was during the sub to PewDiePie craze? Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. I admire what Bell has done, though, considering that, you know, she's the biggest, like, I mean, maybe not the biggest, but it's certainly the most famous uh, e-girl or whatever you want to call them, even though she's never shown her holes uncensored. And she doesn't do any podcasts. <laughs> she does. I'm trying to be nice. And she's never done any podcasts. <laughs> on one day she's suddenly being nice. I want to hear what what the she, other way is. She then. she never does any public appearances or podcasts. One day she starts, and all of a sudden they the, they get the most views out of everything. So she has nailed the you know demand of su and supply thing, where everybody you know she's in high demand and she never gives any supply. Mm -hmm. So it works. I think she's extremely smart. Like, mm -hmm. I think oh, everything yeah. she's done Absolutely. is, yeah. like, perfectly done. That is clever. I'm telling you that it's clever. Maybe we should take a note out of her book and just... No one's seen her whole podcast there's, for there's, a year. <laughs> there's no way she's just lucky. You know what I mean? Like, she consistently makes the right decisions and is able to maintain exactly. that kind of... Agreed. You don't, yeah, you don't get appeal. people trying to pay you to clean your fridge by being lucky. You get there by being smart. And not showing your holes. She's a master yeah. strategist, and she has nailed just, the concept. Just show of, the outlines of your holes, but not the whole. Yeah, itself. just think, somehow yeah. creating demand without ever any supply is an amazing business. If I was Apple, I'd hire. Her. Like I put her on top of the board of directors. Sure. Make her CEO. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know. Yeah, Jeff. Just I see the correlation. I, I somehow she would figure out a way to sell iPhones without actually giving people iPhones. I don't know how she'd do it. She'd do it, though. 
Well, I agree. I, I guess if no one else wants to speak up, I'll say I agree with you, Kaya. I think she. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not Thank brave you. enough. I, I don't know why this is so controversial now. <laughs> I'm not brave enough. I don't want to put Bell on she's, the board at the she's, races. She's a savvy businesswoman, in my opinion. Soon she'll oh, be richer I, than Bezos. I agree with that. I anyway, don't agree how, with that. How can we take her as an example? What should we do? I was thinking also, what should we do? Also, do podcast for years and then make a comeback? <laughs> no, <sex laughs> we just podcast dies. I was thinking we just maybe show the like outline of our buttholes, like the little <laughs> wrinkles on the outside. Like we show the color. Yeah. Maybe that could be just good. a taste. Yeah. Like you know how in hentai mm. they put like a small black bar like right near the head of the penis and it doesn't really censor anything? We could do that with our buttholes. Oh, yeah. So you mm-hmm. could still see like the color. We could but just you can't do a G string episode. Can you mm. G string episode? Can you maybe see, once a month? Can you see like the brown balloon knot colors radiating from it? Yeah, I assume so. Charlie, that sounded like you were starting a high Q. A high Q. That was how beautiful. are we gonna do that? Are we? We'd have to sit and like squat over a camera for the whole episode. Or something. <laughs> yeah, it'll be difficult. Just, <laughs> put the or, camera or on the floor. Like one of those. No, 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 no. Just put the camera on the floor, facing up, and just kind of like sit on an invisible chair. Not an invisible chair, but a Ooh. see-through chair. Yeah, like cut Glass a hole out of the chair. I've given this a lot of thought. It's gonna, it's gonna look like those Japanese hidden toilet camera porn that. Uh, <laughs> Ah, that's yes. not gonna be, who wants to see that of look i i got fuck it i'll again be the courageous one and come out and say it we're not bell delphine we're not hot guys nobody oh, wants to see whoa, our assholes <laughs> don't be putting words in the audience's mouth I mean, there's probably plenty of people that want to see. Yeah, especially instead your asshole, of putting kaya. words in there we should put our buttholes in there and see what happens kaya your asshole's probably like one of those wonders of the yeah. world that people would pay to see with the way you talk about it should be in a museum mm-hmm yeah, but it should also only be seen with the naked eye in person. I mean, a photo of the Mona Lisa isn't the same thing as seeing it, you know? Yeah, you've yeah. really got to smell it, too. <laughs> smell the cleanliness, yeah, the industrial fungal remover that I use on it. <laughs> the nice, toxic <laughs> sterilization of it all. Uh, How much would it cost for you to put butthole pictures on the internet, Kaya? How much it would cost me? Yeah. Nothing. But you mean how much I would want to get paid? Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's, isn't that what I asked? Wait. Which I mean, cost? once you do that, it's going to be, you know, you're kissing your dignity goodbye. You're Nick Avocado at that point, right? Yeah. I think Spreading Belle's got your, a lot of dignity. Oh, well, yeah, I guess she hasn't gross, shown her Spreading your gross, well, it's hairy also, man ass on the yeah, internet for it's different attention for being, and money. It's different for being like an OnlyFans girl versus just being like a podcaster whose butthole is now all over the internet. It's two very different things. Yeah. Not if you make money from it, right? Well, you, would Kaya be making... Oh, someone would pay him to do it, but he wouldn't be directly making money off his butthole How picture. How much? Wait. Well, then I would be... I, I, I think, I think if someone offers you like $100,000, you've still got dignity. Oh, they're getting, a, to them. they're getting a butt pick, yeah. 100000 don't tell me you wouldn't. Well, That's I'm an just, easy hundred k. No, no, I absolutely would. I'm just throwing out like just a random number to make my point. Then, so but yeah, what's the like the lowest amount that you, uh, you know, show your asshole for? Hundred thousand. I would I, I would go twenty five thousand. I think. That's a pretty decent amount. Maybe no, 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 50, 50. Now, would it be private mm-hmm. butthole pictures, like one on ones, like you send this and it doesn't go to the whole internet, or yeah, you send this it and it's like well, there's no way. Does it come with an NDA, NDA okay, so they yeah. legally can't share it? Oh, nah, yeah, that, pay... somebody would still leak it. Come on, you it's can like internet. DMCA it. <laughs> no, <laughs> if it shows no up on any showing stream. my butthole oh, yeah. on Twitch, I'll mute your vod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That always works for everyone whose nudes get leaked. Oh my! <laughs> yeah, once it once it's uploaded, there's no uh, there's no way that you're able to main, like control that. Do kids still get told that today? I feel like that's a wisdom lost. Don't leak to your our generation hole. is no that everything on the internet is forever. Uh there is no way to t- ever take anything down. If you send some guy nudes, you have to account for the fact that he may share it on 4chan and once it's there, it's just, it's the internet's property now. It's no longer your butthole. <laughs> it's all And you're never taking now. it down. It, no you're never taking it down, ever. You still, you still own your butthole. <laughs> you still retain legal <laughs> rights of your butthole, I promise. Yeah, um, but, you know, but not the photo. It, it, it really, that doesn't 
matter. Like ninety percent of people use Tinder for you know hookups, and def they definitely send nudes and stuff. Like most people send nudes these days, definitely. Willing to bet like a strong majority of people. It's majority no. Yeah. Oh, unless you like. Well, yeah, obviously, like elderly people are probably. <laughs> you never know. But, uh, Your mom sends people... new nudes. <clears throat> oh, she, no, she doesn't. <laughs> she, she sends. <laughs> she sends uh, funny, funny <laughs> memes. Just for laughs. <laughs> There's good old porn memes. Yeah, not not nudes. She doesn't send nudes. Um, don't besmirch my mom like that. <laughs> she, uh, she she's a purveyor of fine memes. No, so definitely like a majority of the people under 30, I would say definitely do uh, send nudes. I don't think the majority of people under 30 are even... I don't... I don't honestly, active. I don't have the numbers. I wonder how many people have social media accounts to begin with. I feel like there's just a ton of people out there who don't even use Twitter or Tinder or under uh, Snapchat. 30? I'd say there's a sizable chunk, yeah. Not everyone's a fucking loser. <laughs> I think the majority mm. of people have it. Yeah. At least in America. Maybe not I, in Germany. I think it's become America. so hard ingrained in culture by this point, especially youth culture, that it would be rare or very difficult to find someone under, like, 25 who doesn't have some sort of social media presence. Just my guess. Could be. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know Honestly, tits I don't that well, like to be honest. Up the, I don't feel like looking up the numbers. I'm not fact-checking shit this episode. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck science yeah. and facts. No, I, de I definitely think most people yeah. our I age just talk out do. our asses like we usually do. So you say that most people do. I'll, I'll just say, I'll guess that most people don't. <laughs> Great. <laughs> just making shit up. <laughs> and now we'll have a little back and forth and that'll be juicy content. Perfect. <laughs> well, Good you, if you want to have a back and forth, you have to throw out your opinion. Andrew. I'm too tired. I don't want to. Yeah. He sounds You're very You're always tired. tired. No, I, I, got, I got food poisoning a, like a little over a day ago, so I felt very not well lately. What did you so. eat that triggered it? Uh, I don't know. I made pizzas. <laughs> what do you little, mean you so, so I made little personal pizzas, which I make very often. And this one just the later that night completely fucked me up where I was like freezing and shaky and just slept for like wow, 14 so hours what kind of bacteria did you spread on it i i don't know about the guess salmonella or whatever the fuck but god i felt fucking so horrendous. you can't even blame a restaurant it was all you, you yeah it was yourself. it was all me i goofed but i i have no idea what happened i cooked the same way i always do and i've had it many times before no problem but i slept for like 14 That's 15 hours i just could not leave the bed i felt so goddamn wrecked that's a weird dish to do it too, pizza. There's not a whole lot of like exactly. moving parts in there that could really fuck you up. Did you like cheese? Yeah. Did you just use rotten cheese or something? No, because my girlfriend had the same thing and she felt fine. Maybe, well, maybe she's poisoning what you. Maybe hell? she's just <laughs> stronger than <laughs> <her eyes. laughs> No, she's, she's after your inheritance. <laughs> Be careful, Andrew. <laughs> she just keeps yeah. feeding you pizzas over the next week and they're progressively <laughs> more moist. Do, do you have life insurance by any chance? <laughs> no, Andrew, don't give up on the Did pizza. You, you love it so much. Keep making it. <laughs> Look how it makes you Did feel. Did you see her with a giant glass bottle with a skull and crossbones on it? <laughs> like maybe? a cartoon character. <laughs> she she yeah, pours yeah. out a drop and little like steam rises from the pizza. <laughs> every, t every time she serves you up, she rubs her hand and slinks off into the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> right, well now i have some questions for her thanks guys yeah i think it's worth an interrogation she's, she's already fled the country uh. <laughs> <laughs> she's hiding in bolivia right now <laughs> she was a north korean assassin this whole time <laughs> she's been listening to the podcast he knows too much she was sent to assassinate Andrew. She's just a fan that doesn't like Andrew. <laughs> so far. <laughs> I'll put up with him saying that I'm his girlfriend if I get to kill him. Ugh, as long as he's off the show. The slow con, though. She waited two years for that one time he makes pizza. <laughs> <laughs> she had to gain Love his to trust. Full sense of security. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It would have been too suspicious if she just moved in on day one. Andrew slips on in the bathtub and dies or something. So she waited, yeah, she she waited almost three years for this plan to unfold. 
She's, uh, she's dedicated. All those intimate moments. Was she the one yeah, that urged Koreans you to try cooking, maybe? Yeah, that's, she suggested it. She was like, this plan needs to start moving. Hey, why, Andrew, why don't you try cooking? Ha ha. <laughs> 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 also, you should you should totally download Robin Robin Hood and invest in Chinese stocks. Ha ha. <laughs> She's the one getting us all our sponsors. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. <laughs> oh boy! Don't you think America is a terrible imperial force in the world and needs to be stopped? <laughs> Here's a pizza, by the way. What? By the way, America just not assassinating Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would hope. If Wait, so North North Korean intelligence had Andrew pinned as like a like a high ranking official in America, so they sent her to assassinate. <laughs> they, they think the official podcast is like an actual branch of government. <laughs> That God, would be that'd awesome. be so like, cool. That would be cool. We're all secretaries like, oh. of podcasting. Oh, they, they get like 100,000 viewers a month. That's like as many people starve in North Korea every day. They must be popular. They have a and official reason, like, YouTube channel. They do. Really? They just yeah. kick-ass music videos on it. The, that North Korean music video, cha- or North Korean YouTube channel has some bangers. I watched a, a little girl learn to play the piano once. North Korean <laughs> entertainment is, is next fucking level sometimes. They, so, you know, they go hard. The, the sad part, though, is that if that little girl fate to play, uh, failed to play one of the pieces, she'd immediately get sent to a camp along with her family. She probably the wasn't the fun. first actress for that video, I'm sure. <laughs> There's 84 <laughs> different outtakes. What's the name of that take channel? Out again, the previous Andrew? actress. I what if these camps that they send them to are just like adventure camps and it's all just fun and games and they come back really happy? Yeah, and they love it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Sure. Uh huh. I bet. <laughs> That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get to like do rope swings and stuff. Yeah, I don't think that's what the ropes are for, Jackson. No. Oh. Yeah, I think ropes are involved, but for other purposes. Yeah. <laughs> that's a shame. Yeah. Well, hopefully they still have the Christmas spirit, and hopefully everyone listening can get into the Christmas spirit, (laughs) or whatever holiday spirit you happen to have, because the holiday season is slowly approaching, friends. I know, Mm -hmm. I know, we've got to get Thanksgiving done for you Americans, that's that's how the rules work, Thanksgiving first, then Christmas season, but Christmas season is gift season. Black Friday. And Black Friday. The biggest well, holiday in America. Well, yeah, that's that's what the interlude of the Christmas season is, because then you buy and buy and buy and buy the American tradition. Mm-hmm. And that's why when you're selling online for this upcoming holiday season, getting a massive amount of orders out quickly can be tough. What shipping carrier should you use? Are you getting the best rates? Will it be all delivered on time? You can sit there for hours and ask yourself these questions and stress out about it and make your life miserable. Or you could use ShipStation.com, which is the fastest, easiest, and most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. In a few clicks, you will be managing orders, printing out discounted shipping labels, getting your products out fast. Fast enough to meet that big old Christmas rush. No matter where you're selling, whether it's Amazon, eBay, your own website, wherever, ShipStation will bring Mm -hmm. all your orders into one simple interface, which makes them the number one choice of online sellers. You will ship more in less time. By the way, that... What? You know, this year, obviously, more people are going to be shopping for their Christmas shit online than ever before. That is correct. Since we're all stuck home. There is still... There is still circumstances happening right now which means that more people than ever more old people than ever who don't know what they're doing and don't even know what a computer really is are going to be shopping for their christmas stuff would you want to have them fumble through your terrible program website that you got your cousin to do because he got a little degree in high school that he laminated no You'd instead like a convenient interface where you can manage all your orders in one place and get them out efficiently and easily, and that's going to be ShipStation. And right now, official podcast listeners can try ShipStation for free for up to 60 days when you use offer code OFFICIAL. Make sure your business can meet the demands of the massive online shopping season and get started at ShipStation.com today. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in official. That's S-H-I-P-S-T-A-T-I-O-N dot com. Enter code official at the microphone at the top of the page. Shipstation dot com. Make ship happen. Ooh, a little little mm-hmm. pin, a little pun there to let you know how serious they are. I like Did it. you come up with that, Andrew? 
No, that's that's written here. <laughs> that's sad. You should have <laughs> I should yeah, I should have improvised. I should have winged it, right? No, you should have just taken credit. No, All right. You, ship yeah. Thank you, ship station. So what so else were you, you survived of? that attempt on your life? Oh, nice. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. So what 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 actually happened? Like uh, were you just shitting a lot? Or? No, so I I ate the pizza and I started my stream and then about 4 or 5 hours into it I was just kind of like, all right, I'm going to end here because I don't feel good. My tummy's a little upset. I feel kind of achy. And then I went to lie down and I took a nap. And when I woke up, I had a body temperature of like 96, 95.9, which is getting pretty dang low. Keep it and, in uh, Celsius. What's that? Keep it in Celsius. What's that? Oh, in... uh, here, let me do the okay. conversion for you, Jackson. <laughs> Uh, hold on, no, don't we tell. don't fact check on this. Yeah, it's, that's it's, true. It's, 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 it's probably like degrees degrees Celsius. Celsius. It's, it's probably oh like, my god, that's almost freezing yeah, temperature. It's like four <laughs> degrees. There you go. So, so I. Uh, How did you survive that? I woke up and I was just like kind of shaky and achy and fucking freezing. So I slept on a shitload of blankets and clothes and slept for a long fucking time. And here we are, and I'm still. Kind of shitty, but not as bad. Are what you sure was you your just take, like uh, sleeping tablets or so like yeah, and not something like that. Not to make you suspicious, but what was your girlfriend doing at this time while you were delirious? <laughs> <laughs> Have you checked Hiding your bank evidence? account? Well, Have yeah. you maybe heard her talk in Chinese or yeah, checking your bank accounts? Well, I don't know. She was cleaning syringes in the sink. I thought that was normal. <laughs> Writing a suicide note signed by you. <laughs> She answered the phone in perfect Mandarin. I should have been more suspicious. What? Why'd you call her? <laughs> what the fuck, Jax? Am I orchestrating my own assassination? <laughs> oh, you mean she was calling like uh, KGB handlers or something? Yeah, she's calling right. calling the government. <laughs> I thought you meant that you called her. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so you didn't have, I, I you feel didn't like have you're any, sleepier like, than Andrew is. Yeah, you didn't have any uh, shit. It's in your 2 a.m. I'm always sleepy no, when we my, record. I shit a couple times and it was pretty standard stuff. So I don't I don't know what it was. And it just well, weirds me out because my girlfriend poisoning. ate like the same exact thing and she was totally fine. So I have no well, idea what happened. Food poisoning then, because I mean, isn't food poisoning like always shitting and vomiting? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. It doesn't usually just make you sleep, right? Yeah. Well, I went to sleep because yeah. I just felt so bad and had no energy. But mostly it was like yeah, I was food poisoning chili will and usually and, keep you up. Yeah. No, I, I just so, I don't know what it was. It probably wasn't food poisoning then, man. You probably just had like a little case of like acute rat poisoning or something. Yeah, yeah. She didn't use a strong enough dose. Yeah. <laughs> just radiation poisoning a little bit mixed in your tea. <laughs> she put uranium <laughs> in my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> unrefined you ready <laughs> yellow cake ah yellow cake i love it delicious let's try it maybe it was pineapple and this was just karma getting back at you for having no taste mm. are you sure you just weren't tired like you always are <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted a nap <laughs> it's manifesting itself no I, I i i felt physically fucking destroyed that's a good qu topic question though boys what's the last thing you've gotten sick or ill with I get headaches a lot, but that's pretty normal. I've never, so luckily, I guess you're asking us when was the last time we've been really sick or... Yeah, like when where we, you just had to lay in bed we've been the sleep. sickest in our lives? Oh. Like Mine this was January, that. this past January, I think I, I got something. I don't know if it was the flu or some early COVID thing or but I don't know what the fuck it was, but Patience I was zero. miserable. I didn't eat a bat, okay? I'll just put that out there. Maybe if I got infected somehow on an airport, maybe, but I had diarrhea. I wasn't vomiting, but I couldn't, I could barely breathe. I think I had a fever. It was miserable, but it lasted like five days and then I was fine. And I think that was like the sickest I have, I, I had been in my recent memory, at least. I remember the sickest that I think I've ever felt was when I got alcohol poisoning when I was like 20. Oh my oh, God. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, we were oh in a call, remember? Oh my god. Yeah, I'd never felt we so bad in my entire life. 
<laughs> we were playing League of Legends and you were like, I, I think I have to go lie down or maybe call an ambulance. I was like, dude, you're playing mid. <laughs> you can't leave right now. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Yeah, I was, oh, I was still like so fucking drunk and sick. And every time I'd even drink water, I'd puke pure bile. And uh, I was screaming ew. and whining and moaning. Oh, God. You I were... Couldn't, I couldn't take a bite of food or I'd puke. I couldn't take a sip of water or I'd puke. It was fucking terrible. Ugh. God, it was so awful. So does alcohol poisoning, how does that even work? I thought when, once you take a lethal dose of alcohol, you just pass out into a coma. You don't, you're not still conscious and actively getting, I don't know, symptoms. Oh, I don't know how it works, man. That, that shit was fucking miserable. What does so alcohol I remember do you had to... to Wait, on, what does I, alcohol I remember... actually do to you? No, 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 you wait. Explain <laughs> it to me. What does alcohol actually do to your system to like cause you to shut down like that? Does it just pollute your blood? Yeah. Jackson, I'm not a doctor. It's poison, Jackson. So, so alcohol is literally a toxin on your system, Jackson, and your liver and other no, shit's got to yeah. like filter it. But if your body can't keep up, that shit starts to spread to like your bloodstream and your organs and fucks it up. So, it's so just, since what, we... it's just like liver failure? It, I mean, well, liver so failure is common because the liver is where it's mostly processed, but it can just ruin everything. Yeah. All right. Now you can continue. It, it, again, we don't fact check on this podcast. So let's just say it <laughs> disrupts your chakra. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It, it's an evil, evil spirit that gets inside remember. your body and misaligns your chi, Jackson. Ah, that's why they call it spirits. By the way, so, <laughs> Charlie, I remember you it. had to go. That was awful. <laughs> you had to go to the hospital. <laughs> or yeah you had to go to the hospital right and they hooked you up to a serum no it was it wasn't a hospital it was a walk-in clinic because uh, it was closer if, they, if you go to oh, a hospital yeah, well. don't they just like pump out your stomach if you no i don't drink. know i don't know how they do it at a hospital but the walk-in clinic was like yeah this is, this is alcohol poisoning do you want to like stop vomiting and they just gave <laughs> they me just a give pill. you more alcohol <laughs> they, just gave, they gave me like a pair of the dog pill yeah, to stop you <laughs> Hey, yeah, you'll feel better with this. And then, like, <laughs> the, the pill definitely helped. I stopped vomiting as much. So then I was able to actually, like, stop being disgustingly dehydrated and get a little water. And I started to feel better by, like, that night. It was, it was fucking miserable. What though. was the pill? I, I don't remember, but it was, like, this little red tablet. I'd never seen or heard of it before or since. So I don't know. Might have been their own special maybe, recipe. Maybe, like, a, or maybe it was, like, a placebo thing. And after that, you could just start <laughs> no, I drinking water. I don't know water. if that would work. Like, it was rough. I It was fucking rough. Do you rough. think you would have... What do you think would have happened if you didn't go get help? Um, could you have toughed it out? I don't know, man. Like, it was really bad. I, I don't think so. If I didn't have that anti-vomiting pill, I probably would have died <laughs> from dehydration. I, I think. I don't know. It was bad. How? Like, I was already going on, like, nine hours that day of having zero water because I'd puke it up, plus all the alcohol that was still in my system. It was miserable. How, how, did, how did you... Were you able to get to the clinic? My parents you drove were that me. drunk. Oh. I, I was still living at my parents' house at the time. More so, how right. were you able to get that drunk to begin with? There must have oh. been one party. God, dude. Yeah, I never understand how that happened. It was a friend's 21st birthday, and we pre-gamed really hard. And I had killed off like pretty much the entire bottle of vodka we brought. And then we went to the bar and I kept drinking. I had blacked out before even getting to the bar. Oh, and no. I was like hugging people <laughs> at the bar. And it was uh, apparently I almost got into a fight and stuff. Like it was it was bad. Like it was fucking bad. Oh, God. Yeah. Are you a mean drunk? No, no, I'm a happy drunk. So the guy tried to fight me because I hugged him allegedly. Oh, uh, that's the worst. Yeah. No, it was, it was fucking terrible, though. It was bad. Uh, my friend said I was drooling all over his seat in the car on the ride back to my house. <laughs> Maybe that's why he wanted to fight you if you hugged him and you were drooling Different all guy. over him. It was a stranger. Yeah. No, no, I was hugging. no, I know, but if you were, like, getting really handsy at the club and drooling all over people on the dance floor or something. <laughs> oh, maybe, Groping yeah. his fucking maybe. bulge. Like, he was <laughs> handsome. <laughs> Big guy. <laughs> he wasn't even drunk at that point. <laughs> That's just how he enters the dance floor. <laughs> how about you, well, Jackson? This guy in Grubby's bulge. Yeah, how about you, Jackson? What, uh, most sick? Yeah, sickest you've ever been. Um, nothing that I've ever needed to go to the hospital for, so I don't think it's 
no, I can't think of any time that I've been extremely sick. Like, obviously, food poisoning and such, but nothing that I've needed hospital care for. Hmm. Yeah, me neither. I guess we're all lucky here. I don't think I've ever yeah. been to a hospital, actually, for any sort of procedure or thing I needed. Yeah, it sounds like the only person here who's had that kind of encounter, it's been self-inflicted, which is even <laughs> more impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah, I, I've I've seen we people drink. I've seen people drink so much that they've needed to get their stomachs pumped, and an ambulance has been called to the premises to pick them up. Yeah, I've seen yeah. that as well. Um, like I said, I, I thought that once you cross the threshold of alcohol actually being lethal, you just slip into a coma or something. I didn't know you could still be conscious. No, and go you, that. you absolutely don't. Like immediately die from alcohol poisoning. There's levels to it for sure. Mm. Now to piggyback off this question, what's the most pain you guys have ever been in? Mm. Heartbreak. Because I've got one that I'll I'll just kick it. <laughs> I'll just kick us Did off you right get now. Broken up with Jackson? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What kind of pain are we talking voice. about here? I'm talking yeah, like heartbreak. physical agony. I'm ah, talking gotcha. like actual agony. So, uh, well, hey, don't. Downplay my emotional pain. That could possibly yeah. be the most pain. I've no, 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 no. I'm talking Feelings like, are just as important as physics and I'm actual what about, the t- what, what about the time you went through that breakup, Charlie? You were in pain then. You and know what that, it's and like? that was yeah, nothing. And that was nothing compared to the hot sauce I ate yesterday. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. I was in excruciating agony. So a little spoiler: we're we're doing hot sauces for the tier list. That might be out for like two weeks. Yeah, but yeah. Go ahead. But I did it. this. It was a. I think it was like a Carolina Reaper Scorpion Apollo based hot sauce. It was like five million Scoville. I have never felt such intense pain in my fucking life. Every hole oh. in my face was leaking. Earwax was pouring out of my ears. Snot from my nose. Every single eyes were leaking mucus. It was unbearable, absolutely unbearable. And worse than the so, ghost pepper? Oh, it's significantly worse than the ghost pepper. Like I can't handle yeah. spicy shit at all. And that was on a whole new plane of pain. It made my urethral so swab seem like child's play. You were, you now know how it felt when we did the pepper challenge number two, I think, and I ate a ghost pepper and I swallowed it. Remember? Yeah, oh, I, I couldn't even swallow an that hour hot later, sauce. At, at the time, you guys still, we all were still streaming on Twitch, and you guys asked if I wanted to stream, and I just said no. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, I don't... I couldn't. It, I was in I, bed. I was in the toilet trying to vomit, and I couldn't. It was so bad. Matt, I, yeah. I couldn't swallow it, but Matt did a full dunk in the sauce. I only dipped the first part of the chicken in to get, like, a solid <laughs> dunk. He dunked the entire chicken in How the sauce, ate it, swallowed it. And he felt it like he was kind of fucked up, but he recovered immediately. I don't know how that was possible. I was in excruciating agony for so long. It was miserable. Definitely one of the most intense pains I think I've ever experienced. Jeez. Some people just maintain uh, spicy food. Yeah, I still, I don't know how though. It was all an involuntary response. It was crazy. So wait, that... Are you serious? That was the genuine most pain that you've was ever been in? Probably the most pain I've ever been in. Breaking my wrist was nothing compared to that. Urethral swab, this is still the second most painful experience, but that that Where do you rank heartbreak? The, uh, not even not even on the list after that f- uh, fucking hot sauce. I yeah, t- t- Jackson, and next time your girlfriend breaks up with you, just have a Carolina Reaper. You'll be oh, fine. You'll forget, yeah, you'll forget they, her they, name. They know, but I'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. You'll be happy you survived. You won't even be thinking about your heartbreak. Yeah. Maybe that's why she'll break up with me. I just keep eating <laughs> hot sauce to solve all my issues. <laughs> that's my number one solution. Oh, well. Andrew, did you go over yours? I can't remember. Um, yeah, pain. <clears throat> Probably. I don't know. I haven't done anything wacky like that. Probably when I broke my collarbone as a kid. I've never broken a bone. I don't know what it feels like. I said that two days before I broke my wrist. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> what, what the must? <laughs> is there like a shadowy uh, sh- organization that as soon as you say it, they come out and know how to break your bone? A man with a little baseball bat. Yeah. <laughs> when did you did you talk about that on the show when you broke your wrist? 
Well, there's just not a whole lot to tell. It was a, it was in high school. I was playing wiffle ball and I ran into someone's fucking giant obese father at first base. Broke my wrist. Oh, you just how did it feel? You just reminded me. Actually, I might have had worse pain than uh, breaking the collarbone. Um, similar story. When I was in high school, I was walking through a hallway talking to one of my friends, and there was like this big cluster of people. And we kind of tried to squeeze through, but someone shoved me <laughs> and I tried to stop myself by like, you know, putting my feet down so that I would just not fall over. But basically with the momentum and the way I was pushed, my toe slammed super fucking hard into a door frame. And I'm pretty confident that it broke or fractured or something. I, I'm not entirely sure. And I was limping for like a week. And that's probably mm -hmm. the most pain I've ever felt. It hits I so I, goddamn hard on like a metal door frame. Just your story just uh, like unlocked a memory in my brain that I had had hidden dormant for so long. <laughs> I think I think this might actually be one of the worst pains I've ever experienced because it was both physical and emotional. <laughs> so I was in like it was in third grade. Oh Jesus! And, oh here we go. Yeah, this is like PTSD wow. shit. And I was running up over like the uh, like the crest of a hill. And as I was running up over and down, someone was come like running up as well, and we collided. And we collided so hard that I knocked myself out, knocked a tooth out of my face, and shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> wow! He literally, he literally hit the shit out of me. <laughs> so, I, so I was rolling down the hill with shit in my pants, knocked out. Oh, no. <laughs> It's like someone pushed a septic tank over a hill. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Re I can't believe I just remembered that. <laughs> Are you memory. sure? Well, if you knocked yourself out, how do you know he didn't shit in your pants to frame you? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I, I. I just woke up with shit in my pants and a tooth missing. That's all I know. Yeah, he could have done that, like when you were unconscious, to frame you. I had to. I had to pick up my tooth from the ground and and like waddle off to find the toilet wow. to <laughs> pull my pants down and inspect the damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's, there's no actual solution. How old were you? I, I, well, it was like third or fourth grade, I want to say. So yeah, it's so how old are kids in that grade? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably like, like eleven, nine, like eight or nine. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna say nine. Yeah, it wasn't a permanent tooth. It was a a baby tooth. Mm -hmm. Hey, if anything, he but did yeah, you a I, favor then. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 was definitely. The most, uh, probably the most pain I've felt, at least emotionally and physically. Kids are kind of metal that age, aren't they? When we pull out our own teeth, you guys remember? Yeah. The milk mm -hmm. teeth. When they would be loose, and as a child, you'd be impatient. So you're like, oh, it's loose anyway. You're just, I, I'm going to try to just pull at this all day until it's yanked. Yeah. Until it's, you know, I, was, I was a real wiggly boy. Out. If there was a loose tooth, I'd be wiggling that shit all day. Same. Yeah. I used to be so I can't so imagine fearless. doing that as an adult. Ugh, I would not yeah. be that uh, filled with balls. No way. God. I'd be scared guys, shitless. I have constant dreams about my teeth falling out for some reason. That's stress, baby. Is it yeah. too like once very a year? very common dream association with high amounts of stress? That's weird. I have it super frequently for some reason. Yeah, mine. I have a very common dream like that that happens to me a lot. It's that I'm at school or work and I have something I have to do, but I can't. Like I'm either late or I can't find where I have to go or I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. I get that one a lot. I know that. Yes. Yeah. I have that exact same. Theme. Very it's always very I'm late. often. I, I'm late to class or work or something. Yep. I can't find a way. I yep. have to take a shit, and then my shit goes sideways. I have to wipe my ass, but I can't mm. find anything to wipe my ass with. And then huh. I'm late. <laughs> mine, <laughs> mine, is, in shit. mine is so often I'm in school <laughs> and it's like I look at the time and I'm like, oh shit, I have to be in this class. And then I walk all the way there and I'm like, wait, this is the wrong way. And then I go to a different class and then I have to ask where the one I have to go is. And then they tell me where to go. And it's just I, I will never get there in the dream. I will never get to where I need to be. Yeah. No matter I what. I have a lot of naked dreams and it's always the worst because I'm flaccid in the dream. So I'm even more embarrassed. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Say that again. Naked what? dreams. <laughs> oh, naked? Uh. Yeah. And I'm afraid of like my flaccid penis being seen in the world, so I'm always naked and yeah. flaccid in the dreams. It's like, oh god. I mm. had that dream last night actually. I, I was I was 
like it was really cold and my penis was all shriveled up and I was really afraid <laughs> of someone like uh, someone calling me out for it and someone actually did call me out for it so that was that was a bad dream. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. Did this really happen? Are you, you sure? Have to... No, 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 absolutely. Yeah, it genuinely did happen <laughs> last night. So you guys have to confront your fears like that. For instance, take a cold bath like I do. See your penis shriveled up like you've never seen it shrivel. And then you're over it. It doesn't really change anything, though. It's still like a small, gross-looking thing. Like, well, you well still Charlie, don't want to no, you have you have to confront your. Nobody fears. likes to shrivel well, up. Well, Charlie, penis. hang on. If you're if you're self-conscious, how can you hide If it? you're self-conscious down there, why don't you hide it? Why don't you just hide it away? With some me undies. Yeah, you could wear me undies. Then that way, when you look down, you don't have to see a embarrassing flaccid penis. You could just see some comfortable and fun printed underwear. Am yeah, I, right? I also have nightmares mm. about not wearing me undies. <laughs> <laughs> and you too can avoid the recurring nightmare of not wearing me undies by checking them out. This is the time that humans hibernate. We're getting to those cold winter months. We're getting to that time where people don't want to go outside. Other reasons happening in life right now why people don't want to go outside. This is when we take advantage of our vacation time and just sit at home and do whatever. And that's why you're going to want to hibernate inside some me undies. You can be a bear in their lounge pants and hibernate your butt off. Me undies will give you a great off offer for anyone listening. For first time purchasers, you can get 15% off and free shipping. And you might be thinking, well, what am I getting 15% off and free shipping for? I mean, those are great, incredible deals, I know, but is it on something I need? Have you ever worn me undies underwear? Probably not, because you're a first-time yep. purchaser. Let me tell you something. You need to wear it. It's ridiculously comfortable. It's incredibly well-fitting. And it comes in every style and color and print that you can think of, and some that you can't think of. Because you don't, you haven't worn MeUndies me yet, so you're probably not a very creative person. Just saying. All I know is that MeUndies is the brand of people who wear underwear because they're proud of the underwear they want to wear. MeUndies has their problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied mm. with any product for any reason, they will refund it or exchange it. No caveats, no questions, no nothing. If you, for some unknown reason, look at MeUndies and go, nah, they'll take it back. They don't mind. They won't be offended. They'll say, okay, I guess you're just not comfortable in some of the best underwear on the planet. To get 15% off of your first order and free shipping, you can go to MeUndies.com slash official. That's MeUndies.com slash official. Each and every one of us, all four of us, wear MeUndies. I have not one, but two, and I've said this many times, two mm -hmm. of the blue and white polar bear print. And I crack them on every now and then, and they are just no jokes, a fantastic pair of underwear. Perfect They're super underwear. comfy. Yeah, they, they are of them. And they have every form of underwear. And not just underwear, they have PJs, pullovers, sweaters, you know, just anything that you can think of that is comfy to wear during the winter, which mm -hmm. is not finally here, they got. Very cozy, nice designs, ni nice prints, which you can choose, you know, so many that you can choose from for you and matching with your girlfriend. Hopefully she's not an assassin like Andrews. Yeah, don't uh, eat matching dinners with her, though. That's the mistake. <laughs> but PJs, get some PJs, guys. Yeah. If the you... comfy season is finally approaching, where you can just cuddle up on the couch and matching PJs and watch shows together all high. Finally. About time. If you're That's going so to wear it around the house, me undies probably has you covered. Check them out. 15% off your first order with free shipping at MeUndies.com slash official. Official. Nice. Mm-hmm. Kaya, you didn't answer the pain question. What's the most painful, besides like getting bombed in Turkey or something, what's the most painful time in your life, the most pain you've experienced? Honestly, it might just be the time, at least the one I remember, is when I swallowed that Carolina Reaper. It was really? Misery. Nice, yeah. Yeah, it was really abject is misery. It, it wasn't a stinging, you know, focused pain like when I first was chewing it on my tongue. It was the aftermath of it when I decided to swallow. 
Mm. And I was just in this, my stomach was in agony. My face was still sweating for some reason. My tongue couldn't taste anything. It was numb. And I felt sick all over. It was terrible. It was like 10 flus and 27 COVIDs rolled into one evening. And for some reason, I decided that I didn't want to vomit because then, then it wouldn't count. Like the pepper parade. <laughs> I would be a failure if I vomited the pepper back up. So I tried to keep it down, which just prolonged my agony. So I think that's it, really. It really is a special kind of pain. Jackson, what's like the hottest food you've eaten? Or hottest hot sauce, I suppose, or whatever. Um, yeah, probably the ghost pepper. Oh, well, definitely the ghost pepper. You didn't do a ghost pepper when we did the pepper parade. You did a... Um... Yeah. No, I did. Did you? Yeah. I don't remember that at all. I, d I definitely did hotter than you, that's for sure. I, d I don't remember if it was a ghost pepper. No, I'm pretty sure it was a ghost I mean, pepper, though. I don't though. think it was. Well, everyone did hotter than Charlie. Charlie ate a yeah, dummy bear. Charlie no, I, didn't drive. I ate a habanero that's 300,000 Scoville. Andrew's was only 500k. Mm. Yeah, I and, I, and I ate two of them. True. I, was, <laughs> I thought Jackson had a 500k one as well. It might, ooh, was it Scotch Bonnet? No, that was Andrew. I had, Andrew. Yeah, I ate two Scotch Bonnets. I don't think you had a ghost pepper, Jackson. Maybe not. I can't remember now. Fuck. It's been so long. Well, my memory's also just extremely fucked, so. Mm. Um, maybe it wasn't well, a ghost know, pepper. I, uh, the ghost pepper that I had eaten, I I think that was the one where I ate it, but I took out one seed and I planted it and I had a ghost pepper plant afterwards. And I grew that for a while. Now I moved recently and I left that plant behind. So I <laughs> want to imagine that the next tenant in there somehow comes across that plant and thinks, oh, it just, this is kind of red and like a tomato or something. I wonder how, what it tastes like. And then they, they just kill themselves on the pain. God. <laughs> like a trap. It's like those fucking explorers where they're like, oh, look, delicious berries. And they're fucking poison yeah. berries. And they're just... Who does that? No one does that. No well, not, not that. in modern yeah. times. But I don't think anyone would. Yeah. Like for those who've never handled a, go, um, a Carolina Reaper, it, it burns your fingers when you cut it. That's how bad it is. Oh, yeah, no, it's like it's it's physically, like that, when you get to that yeah. level, it physically burns you. Uh, I coughed up water when the, so I did six hot <laughs> sauces. The fifth hot sauce was so unbearable that when I drank some water, I ended up choking and coughing it all over my face and my entire <laughs> fucking face burned. My whole fucking so, face was on fire. So, <laughs> just because so the water, the water like it. boiling? <laughs> like when you spread it out, was it actually like heated up water? Like was your throat actually b uh, boiling the water? <laughs> I don't think so. So here's here's a question. Here's an actual legitimate question on all this. Why do we make these hot sauces? Is it just because we can? Because it sounds like yeah, at why a do certain we do pain yes. threshold, people <clears throat> literally can't even eat them no, anymore. So no, no one is eating them for exactly. Yeah, no one is eating this just no, to eat uh, it. I don't know if you guys remember. For a time there, I was trying to make my own hot sauce. Remember it with the Carolina mm -hmm. Reapers I grew and some ginger mixture with my own formula. That tasted amazing, and I was trying to balance the pain just right with the spicy taste. So it yeah, is possible for them to actually be pleasant if you use the right amount. But don't you think we'll eventually reach a point where just no one could handle it? I mean, we're constantly making hotter and hotter peppers. Yeah. Why? It's, it's just for the challenge. I don't think that's ever for like enjoyment or for actual use. It's just for the sake of the challenge. Okay. I think the hottest anyone consistently eats is habanero based uh, hot sauces because habaneros like apparently taste good. I didn't think they were that great, but that's the hottest. I really see them go where people are actually eating them for taste. I do like spice with food. I do like a bit of a kick. And I usually do pretty well with it as well. I used to, but I don't really eat spicy food anymore. I, I don't think the repercussions are worth it. Like, it tastes good, and it's fine when you eat it, but then, like, my fucking stomach hates it later, so I just don't bother. Does it actually do any... Uh, it doesn't to me, but does it do anything to your, like, anuses? Well, like yeah, that, that was... Yeah, I, I was including that, that with yeah. that. It's like, yeah, I, I like spicy food, and I don't mind the pain, but the fucking... 
the uncomfortable shits and the stomach cramps and all that. It's like, eh, I don't fuck with I've that anymore. I've never had that. I've never had any know, kind I, of like burn on my butthole. Hmm. I think people eat spicy food for the same reason. You know, John F. Kennedy said that Americans went to the moon. It's no, <laughs> it's not because it's easy. It's because it's hard. <laughs> it's because it is hard. <laughs> it's because it's yeah, it's difficult. It's an achievement. It's not a bad idea. Well, I mean, the there's also a slight endorphin rush from pain. So, I mean, while you're eating it, some people True. enjoy the the mild burning or tingling sensation because, you know, they find it fun. They like it. But isn't it, isn't it also that um, scientifically humans are the only animals on Earth that choose to eat spicy and painful food? Probably. My, I, well, again, I'm not going to look it up because we don't ever fact check ourselves. No but fact check. I think fuck that's that, yeah. correct. I think I believe lemurs eat peppers exclusively. They only. But eat I, I think it's for and other animals that eat like check. spicy cool. foods and like pepper oh. seeds and shit. They're lemurs. immune to the spicy, or they don't feel it. But with mm. humans, they actually oh. like feel and want the pain. And I think no, they're no, the, no, no, no. Actually, interestingly enough, I just looked this up last night. Capsaicin no. affects every single mammal. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Yep. Interesting. So isn't it kind of funny that plants develop this as a defense mechanism against like deer and bears eating them and humans just eat it for fun? We really are on the top of the food chain. Yeah, pl We're badasses. Plants are fucking Wait, does it dumb. Kill, does it kill them? Does it, does it kill them? Does it kill animals if you feed them peppers? No, but no, uh, no, no, if no, you're a dumb bear and you eat a little plant that stings your mouth, you're going to stop eating it. Yeah, but it's still oh, a yeah, dumb defense. They, they only know... There's no like sentience there. They only know, ouch, this hurts. Don't do it. Yeah. Because it could kill. Yeah. Because they're dumb animals, unlike us humans who are awesome, so we can eat hot plants. Well, to be fair, okay, let, let's think about it this way. If nothing was ever known about peppers and we picked one up and took one bite and it burnt our mouth, we would never touch it again. If we didn't have that pre existing uh, information that no, it won't kill you. I guess. It's, it's still a dumb defense so mechanism, though, because you still have to die for it to take effect. Like, you're still getting eaten, and then you, like, save your friends. Like, yeah, it's pretty noble and shit, but why not just do what the cactus does and grow literal spikes? What if lava is actually really nutritious and gives you superpowers, but we've never <laughs> found out because it just burns? Mm. Can we? Well, I don't think we it. can ever get it to a state where we can eat it, because if it cools, it's going to be hard rock, and if it's hot, it's going to be... It has to be perfect, just in between. Hey, yeah, you, you don't have the balls to eat it when it's hot, do you, bitch? <laughs> I don't but think I if? do. <laughs> <laughs> what if lava isn't even hot, it's just lies? <laughs> yeah, it have just we seen anyone just ever spicy? eat it? <laughs> <laughs> How many people have died in a volcano, actually? That's one I'd like to look up, but I won't, so I'm just going to give an estimate yeah, and say, I like, ten. Yeah, that goes against the spirit of the podcast. But I also wonder how many, like, is that just a joke or a stereotype? Or have, has humanity actually sacrificed virgins by throwing them into volcanoes? Oh, that has to be real, right? Like, I feel like it has to be. That sounds like something early humans would do. Like, fuck, even people today would do that to, like, wait away 5G spirits or some shit. Mm. I hope we did. Not gonna look it up, though. <laughs> yeah, I won't either. Yeah. Actually, wait, wasn't there some dude? Oh, wasn't there some dude who recently threw himself into a volcano? Or am I misremembering? Sounds like a virgin. Well, not, yeah, it wasn't necessarily for a sacrifice of King Kong or anything, but I thought there was like a well known guy who recently threw himself into a volcano. Well, like a Dalai Lama or a monk? No, I don't know. I think we would have heard that. Yeah, yeah if the Dalai Lama was, like Lama Lama. was obliterated <laughs> in a volcano, I think we'd hear about it. <laughs> That'd be pretty fucking cool. Though. That'd be that would be one hell of a way of making a statement. Yeah, there could there absolutely can't be any more painful way of dying than going into a fucking Wait, what volcano. Would his, what would his statement be? He like stands on the edge of the volcano and says, "Today what? I will prove that vol <laughs> volcano lava is actually cool to the touch." And then falls in. No, I, and just, I just threw that. Today I will prove volcano lava is nutritious and good to eat. Been <laughs> they will, hey, we been will become friends with the volcanoes. <laughs> There have been monks who burnt themselves alive in protest, right? Oh, so yeah, like political oh, shit, God. right? Yeah, for political shit. So why wouldn't one of them throw themselves in a volcano in protest? That's true. 
Kaya's got a good point. they could die. Oh, no, they're going to survive think, burning themselves alive, Jackson. Well, I, I assume they think someone might throw water on them or something. There's more of like a chance of survival <laughs> with fire, being lit on fire, than there is lava. I don't think that'll help once you jump into a volcano. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, there's l- no, there's a less of an opportunity to survive. <laughs> it's like if, if people were watching the Dalai Lama jump into a volcano, like, uh, stop, drop, and roll! It's like, I will help. Yeah, I found it. I had, to, I had to, you guys I had to look it up. up. I had to. Yeah, yeah, you son of a bitch. It was a so a guy was trying to get a better view of Hawaii's active volcano and fell in. Oh no! <laughs> While well, he, I guess he succeeded. He got if the best view. If you can find video. that camera, yeah. If you can find that camera, that's going to be some nutty pictures. No, that camera's melted. Well, you didn't. If know he that. was live streaming, we got that footage. Yeah. Missed opportunity. That'd be the greatest stream of all time. I think I'd have to quit after that. How do you beat live streaming throwing yourself into a volcano? <laughs> That's the most why, premium why people, content I can think of. Why do people yeah. build near, near volcanoes? It seems like such a obvious kind of place not to build near. That, is there some kind of natural benefit to volcanoes? They like Do they protect They're against well, attackers? Aren't volcanoes like low-key everywhere? They're underneath the sea floor everywhere, yeah. right? Yeah. I and know. I think a lot of places that are built near volcanoes were built before humans even knew what the fuck a volcano even was. No, people they just lie dormant. Mankind has known what volcanoes have been since the dawn of time. They they make big noises and throw up lava and shit. Not yeah. always. I mean, a lot of them are dormant, right? They're just silent, don't make any steam or heat, and then one day it just explodes, and before you know it, it's your uh, chicken wing. That was Pompeii, baby. Mm. Yeah, imagine how fucking scary it would have been in Pompeii. Oh man, that's a terrifying experience I have to imagine. Fucking volcanic ash and shit shooting all over the place. Well, Pompeii happened so quickly, people were petrified doing what they were doing the moment it erupted. Like, there's a guy in Pompeii mm. who's literally frozen in, in ash masturbating. Because it happened oh, so yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I read recently that they found some guy's <laughs> actual one more out? fossilized brain matter because I guess his... Like, his brain burned so fast that it was, it, it turned into diamond or something, preserving his brain and his neural Ooh, system. that's cool. Does that mean we can clone him cool. and bring him back, oh, maybe? Oh, that'd be oh, so I fucking wonder. cool. That's cool. Oh, oh, that would be awesome. Fuck, fuck Jurassic Park. Bring back that guy. Bring back a whole zoo of humans how, who died in volcanoes. F- how the fuck is that cooler than big dinosaurs? Dude, he's, he's got fucking volcanic yeah, diamond nice. brain. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. That is the coolest human I've ever heard of, to be fair. Uh, yeah, but he's just a normal. Yeah. He's just another human. I want dinosaurs. If we, if I had the option between bringing back dinosaurs or this guy, who, <laughs> Fred is basically yeah. just just a Roman guy, like a normal guy, this <laughs> random fucking dude. I think I'm gonna choose the dinosaurs. Why though, man? Like, imagine the stories you can tell about what happened. No one's back ever then. seen it. We've seen Roman guys. They've made statues of themselves. Yeah, but you can't talk to the statue or a dinosaur. You what can talk to say? Roman he, he, Caesar Fred or whatever the fuck his name is gonna why be. Why would we want to talk to him? He doesn't have any knowledge or anything to really give How? us. How? He lived here, during that time. Uh, this is- so did dinosaurs. Yeah, but they can't talk to a fucking dinosaur, yeah, yeah, Jackson. But you they didn't can't. speak English. See, we Jackson, don't know yeah, show. right. Jackson, you're not going to get any knowledge for history out of a dinosaur. You couldn't ask this guy and translate. What, and, you, you know, what the fuck? What? You're going to get so much knowledge out of dinosaurs. What? Just How? by having them How? around. It's not going to talk to you. You're just going to roar. Yeah, but okay, so you study so them, but why not just oh ask God. the guy that we bring back from Pompeii's eruption, like, hey, he's what was a, going on? He's, he's probably just a fucking low-life homeless man in Pompeii. He's not going to have the, the <laughs> secrets of the universe or anything like that. But he'll have secrets to be, the society, which is he's cool. He's clearly addicted to yeah. just jerking off or some shit. So he's that's good enough. His, jerking <laughs> off in <laughs> ancient <laughs> Rome. <laughs> yeah, if the like? man with a diamond brain oh is addicted God. to jerking off, that's good enough for me. I'm sold. Yeah. Dinosaurs are way cooler than humans anyway, so. I we don't, agree, we don't, know, we don't but... even know for sure what dinosaurs look like. To, well, but still, mm. I don't know. I think it'd be much cooler to bring back um, an old, old, old person. Plus, like we that. could, we could, like, uh, we could. What do you call it? Uh, research or analyze the insides of dinosaurs for once. We could see the old vital organs. Maybe we they have, could like, research the cancer up in them or some shit. We we could research and analyze ancient humans, just bringing back oh and dissecting. Oh my god! Who cares? 
They died. Aww. So did the dinos. They died. They're losers. Oh. <laughs> well, we we don't know how. Yes, we do. <laughs> they died from a... No, we don't. Meteor, right? Isn't that confirmed? We, we know exactly how this guy died because he didn't know what a fucking volcano was. Yeah. We don't know how dinosaurs died. Could Maybe have been it aliens. was COVID that killed all the dinos. Bringing the dinosaurs back wouldn't answer that question. You can't ask it how it died. It's it, like, that's not how it works. I'm not trying to answer that question. Uh, oh, well, okay. I just want to study their insects. Well, not insects. I just want to see them. I don't mm. know what they look like. That's what they sound like. Unless we can instill okay, about, like vocal cords in them, I'm not interested. Well, let's reach a middle what? ground. We can. So I, I looked up this article. Sorry, fact checking here. It says well preserved brain cells found in Vesuvius victim, and apparently he burned so fucking slow yet fast that his brain was <laughs> what vitri vitrified. He slow but fast. <laughs> they call it vitrification. So his yeah. brain matter was literally turned into glass. So how about we take his brain matter? some DNA sample and from the dinos and we combine oh. them into lizard people and then we ask them what happened. Holy shit. God, that would be so fucking confusing for him if he comes back from the past. Like we revive him and he's in a dinosaur's body. <laughs> <laughs> that shit would be fucking so confusing. A volcano did this to me? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it would be the least confusing to someone of that age, honestly. That they yeah. just think like, oh, I, I was revived by Zeus and put in a lizard body. Oh, am I not victorious <laughs> and awesome? <laughs> we just have to humor him like, yeah, Hades, you know, that jokester, he put you in a big old crocodile. So uh, what happened? <laughs> Do we have anything like that? Could we be fooled by anything like that in this day and age? Getting put into a robot. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. Uh well, like, the, the, since there was so much unknown back then, like, if we did br bring them to this time, they would just pretty much believe anything. So I wonder if we that would died. be the same way in, like, There's years. just as much unknown today. Come on. Yeah, like what? Everything! We don't know the universe. Why do you think we have everything figured out? If you brought one of us back in, like, the year 3000, we'd have so many questions. And what if it's go exactly along with the same? Everything. Yeah, it's exactly Everything the same. Exactly Everything's the same. just slightly more efficient. Yeah, Among Us <laughs> 2 is just now coming out or something. Yeah. It's like, the podcast is hey, still oh, going. oh god, it's, it's 5,000 years in the future. Do we have flying cars yet? No, people are rioting in the streets. The election didn't go the way they wanted. <laughs> it's like, damn it. <laughs> wow, it's the year 3000. What wonders can I learn? Oh, well, you, no, you figured everything out back in like 2013, so... Incorrect. A bad man named Jackson took over and put everyone's <laughs> souls in dinosaurs' bodies. <laughs> everyone lives inside a dinosaur now. Uh, we have social media. People call each other pedophiles on it since, you know, they rage and get each other banned. It's oh, okay. Do you have time machines? Yeah, Send me back. <laughs> uh, should we wrap right. or keep going? You can wrap if you want. Okay. Yeah, Andrea, if you have places to be. He's oh. just going back to bed. I yeah, I want to I wanna go lie back down. All right, Jackson takes us out. All righty. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for listening to this episode of the official podcast. We have a Patreon, patreon.com slash the official podcast. If you want to throw a buck or two our way, that would be great. Uh, there's bonus episodes over there. 60 odd episodes so you got lots of content over there uh go check it out you don't have to support us or anything just watching is great but you know it's over there thank you thanks everyone goodbye. thank you bye-bye i'll say you have to it's mandated bye <laughs>